One Owner Car Guy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com. And what I've got here for you today is an absolutely beautiful 2010 Chrysler Town & Country minivan. I don't know. What do you want to call it? That's what it is. It's a stow and go with the, it's a five door. Everything on this van opens up. It's got the boop, 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 blind spot mirrors and stuff. It tells you and people around. It's got the uh, Mercedes Benz looking interior. This thing is the um, touring model and it's got pretty much all the bells and whistles. Um, there might be one or two options it don't have, but I have no clue what they are. This thing's got everything. The alloy wheels seems to be very well maintained. It runs, drives, shifts, all that stuff, stops. Very important. Great! And actually my mom drove it around to do some stuff and she absolutely loved it. Um, it's in great shape and I'm going to do this really quick once around and then I'll go in close and I'll show you any um, little things here or there that may be off. And there's not really much to talk about. There might be a small ding or something somewhere, but I don't know where it is actually to be quite honest. It's clean. Clean. So, check my website. There'll be 60, 80 pictures of it. OneOwnerCarGuy.com If you're interested, you can call me up at 406-546-8748. Call anytime. Um, always got something in stock. Check out the website. Um, first thing of damage on it is the cracked bumper. They got something with the lip of it here. And actually, you could epoxy it back together just great and not even paint. Or you could have somebody fix it up and do some color matching and painting. I would just leave it as is because it's in great shape. Um, underneath, very clean. It's a very clean. They actually have the pan off and changed something under there, you can see. So there's been maintenance done to it, which is a great thing. Um, I'm trying to think what else to tell you. Not a lot. The whole piece of spoiler under here is not ripped off like a lot of them get. There's a little scuffy ding right here. My nails and hands are filthy. I'm sorry, I've been working. There might be a little tiny scratch right there that you can hardly see. And now I'm being very picky. You can't see this stuff. There's just hardly anything you can see on it unless you really look. There's a couple little chips right here. And I there's just hardly any damage on this thing. I don't want to say there's a ding on it. Let's just say there's a ding somewhere where I can't see it. Because looking down the side of the car, I'm just not seeing any dings. But there has to be. We know there has... Oh, right here. Little scuff on the chrome. Um, and that's the kind of thing where if you want to be real anal about something, yeah, you could buy that on eBay for 30, 40, 50 bucks and replace it. It doesn't need nothing. It looks perfect. You'd never know unless somebody like me is going around showing you. Little chip here. And the person cared enough to actually put some touch-up paint on it. So, maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. Kumhole Solace on the back. And Hancock Radial H714s on the front. These look a bit newer. Looks like he traded these out more recently than he traded the backs, but I'm not sure. Um, somebody that was trading them in sets. Definitely knows their vehicle maintenance and such. The roof and all that kind of stuff is in absolutely great shape. You got a luggage rack type thing on here. Um, not really faded or anything up there. There is some um, water spots and everything. It's just from after we washed it. Um, stuff like that. Windshield's in good shape. There might be a little a tick, but there's no chips that I see really. Um, it, actually, looks like they repaired one or that there is a start of one right there. And there are no cracks, anything like that. This here is aged a little bit around there, the seal. And with that, I'm gonna go around on the hood. Man, it's just so clean and straight. Antenna's missing. And radio and everything works, but the antenna is actually not on there. Um, clean, clean, clean. Right here, there's a little bump or such. And a little right there, it looks like it barely grabbed something. It's an untree. It is an untree. You will have the only Chrysler untree touring. Talent untree, that is. Actually, this is $30 on eBay. If you want to get it, get it. That's the kind of thing where I usually don't replace it. It's on you. If you want to pay me to run around and do your grocery shopping, I'll come do that too. But I don't buy stuff like that and do little things like that. I leave it to the end user to make the price for you just cheaper. This is a good running van. It doesn't need much of anything. And I would never even, yeah, I'd probably buy it. For $30, I would buy it sometime when I was bored in the middle of the night and I had nothing to do. And I'd go, I'm gonna buy that stinking emblem. 
I don't want to say there's no dings in this car. <laughs> but they're really, yeah, let's just say there's something I can't see again because I'm not seeing it and I am really looking at it. There's a slight ding right there. Thank you. Thank goodness I found that. There has to be some damage. It's a 2010. It's eight years old. There's got to be something wrong with it. And I've showed you anything on this van that is wrong with it. And it ain't nothing to talk about. There's just no... Jeez. So straight. I hope you can see this in the lens. It's just... I hope it shows up the same. It's just a straight car. Stow and go with the open things. You can hit a button inside. Or you can just grab the handle and it'll open by itself. We're not going to give you the interior review yet. You can click the handle or push the button inside the same way. And it closes, opens, and stows it and goes it. Okay. This even has the blind spot mirrors where it will light up the little orange cone. Hope you can see that and go beep beep or something. Well, this one, however, does not beep beep or something because they busted the lens off somehow. It looks like they smacked it or something. They knocked the lens off. Okay, we're gonna go for a test drive now and show you the whole thing here. I don't know of anything else to say about this thing outside besides super clean. Super clean, here we go. Lenses on the back and the front and everywhere, just clean as can be. Beautiful day. Absolutely beautiful day. Okay, I want to get this actually in like, I have to put like 10 more miles on it or something because it's at like four, five, what is it? One, two, three, four, three, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's only about 19 more to go and it'll be at one, two, three, four, five, six. Whoever had this van took care of it. You got the, I hope you can see that with the different kind of, there you go, lighting. You can see the lens of the camera there and it gives you the backup camera. AC's cold as can be, shifts, drives, steers, just awesome, auto locking doors and all that. I'll give you a test drive down the road and we'll look at how, oh, it's gonna ding, 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 ding like crazy. It sure will. Okay, we are like Willie on the road again. Check out all the pictures of it on my website. It's oneownercarguy.com. If you're looking for something like this and it's months down the road and I don't have this available, you can call and I can find you one. They're all over at the auction and they're great cars and I sell a lot of stuff like this. I've got an R500 in stock right now. Upshift, downshift. It's got the big 4.0 in this thing. It's not the little remoter like the other ones have. This little van has some bazoo. It's a muscle van, I tell you. Cornering, steering, braking, accelerating into the curves. It has a traction control button. So honestly, if I had a wife and kids, I would totally be sleeping on the couch all the time with this van because there's plenty of power. In Montana, I'd be out in the parking lot burning donuts while she was shopping or something. This thing is powerful, fuel efficient, and just this one is clean. I'm not a big fan of gold. Everybody has their favorite color. And just dead honestly, who sells a car and says, I don't like that color? Well, I'm not a big fan of gold, but I like the gold on this. It has a very classy, luxurious look to it and very incognito at the same time. Look at a crow. Boing, boing. Okay, so this has been your test drive. I'm going to go out here in about an hour or so and get you the interior video at the nighttime here when we have a little bit of shadows. And let's get this thing some. The traction control kicks right in, man. just runs great and it keeps the um it's newer technology where it keeps the rpms up to where you don't double throw your foot in it and jerk your back in your seat really neat runs great runs like a mercedes you get a lot of um mercedes little things and feelings and everything in these chryslers um and the seats and everything are definitely one of those things you'll see that coming up soon Man runs. 
so that's your exterior review. I'm gonna get back to the place here, give me an outro, say goodbye, all that, and then run right into the interior. The battery is going dead on my camera. Got an extra one. So hopefully I can make it to the end of this video I'm hoping here. Okay. All kinds of cars for sale. Check out some of the stuff. Look at my website, oneownercarguy.com. Actually gonna leave it right here. Let's get out and take a picture back at it. Um, that's the deal. So anything around here you see, and more. I've got a hundred cars in stock, all kinds of stuff. What is it, Lexus? There's an SL, I just did the video on the SL. Um, more, 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 more. We got a hearse, we need a hearse. People just dying for a ride in that hearse. Okay, that's the deal, that's your video, that's your van. Interior coming up next. Thanks for watching. OneOwnerCarGuy.com and call me. 406-546-8748. We'll talk to you. One Owner Car Guy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com. And what I've got here for you today is the interior review of this beautiful 2010 Chrysler Town & Country in the Touring Edition. It's in great shape. I did the exterior and I went over everything, showed you the ins and outs and any damage which there ain't really anything to talk about as far as damage goes this thing's in great shape and the car shows really well color just wraps this car beautifully um, I'm gonna do it once around here kind of show you once around and then we'll jump inside I'm probably gonna show you under the hood first to where we can get that out of the way with the odd storm clouds and stuff we're having and I might have to use my phone to show the interior to where you can see better I'm gonna have to do a little bit of odd stuff here with the way I do the seats because you got so many options on the seats so it makes into a cargo in like about two and a half minutes or so so that's the deal one owner car guy one owner car guy .com. and about 60 to 80 pictures on there you can call me anytime 406-546-8748 show you into the hood beautiful seats look at this just absolutely beautiful it's got the Mercedes looking interior no oh man you're not gonna be able to see in here you just sure ain't okay I'm gonna show you this let me get my phone on to where we can do it to it apps everywhere except for a phone app I mean a flash are you kidding me okay there we go look at this nowhere on the pedals just none um, carpets are in great shape door panels are in great shape let's look under the hood here I'm gonna leave this hanging around my neck and I'll show you what I can here that's gonna go dead okay under the hood is clean as can be it's just very clean under the hood you can see it down in here just clean, 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 clean. Motor, block, not leaking all over. We have drove this around a little bit. I'll bet you we've put close to 150, 200, probably closer to 200 miles on it. Runs great, is great. Still got the hood insulation and everything. Okay, let's go to the interior. And I'm gonna show this really oddly. I don't know what to say besides oddly because there's so many variations of the interior. I'm gonna show you this as fast as I can, and then we're gonna go ahead and flip all the seats up to where you can see all the seats and that there's no damage or anything like that. Um, these are really cool. It takes a slight pull of the handle and it just opens up. Um, anybody who's had these knows exactly how it works. There's buttons inside and everything and take care of all that. In fact, even for the back, you got a button right here. Um, storage and everything. Huh. Oh wow! You got a you got a flashlight to carry around with you. Pretty high tech. Pretty high tech. So now we know that, and the flashlight is here. I'll bet you that's something that goes missing in some of these. So it's in great shape. Um, I'm just going to actually give this a pull and shut it. Boom. Boom. I think this I have to pull. So you pull and it'll like disengage and then you just click that seat up. Same thing up here. Now you got floor mats here. I'm going to go ahead and 
put these back here for now. Okay, so about two and a half, three minutes or so, and bam! You got seats down and all that. Seats in the back are beautiful. I'm gonna put this down to where you can see. I was gonna put these right here. I want you to see that the seats aren't all ripped up right Hey, there's a little, that's what happens when you flip these things forward and you find stuff like this. Well, here I think, headline and everything, there's dual DVD screens and such. And I don't know how they come down, you just, wow, there's all kinds of two storages and two DVD screens. I'll get some pictures of that too. Rear air controls. Wow, very um, aircraft looking lights. Kind of cool. I'm gonna turn this off real quick and get a picture or two. Okay, I have no idea where I was on this review. There's just so many ways and configurations and all this stuff that I kind of lost track. It's in great shape. Interior's not all ripped and torn or nothing. In fact, I can't find no rips and tears in the interior. It just seems to be in great shape. Front, back, center, you name it, it's clean. Door panels, all the storage and everything, it's clean. It's even got the owner's manual in here. User guide, actually, I guess they call it nowadays. Dash, all that stuff, clean, clean, clean. Seats, clean, clean, clean. Rugs, floor mats, the whole deal. It is a clean car. Have I said that yet? I think I've said that. Um, let's try out some options really quick and go through that part of it. There's just not a whole lot to talk about about issues with this van. I keep saying car, I know, but I've showed you anything that really is to say bad about it. Um, two, three, four, nine. I keep seeing them miles and I know I'm so close to one, two, three, four, five, six. And guaranteed I'm gonna miss it. Auto down, auto up, works fine. All that stuff. Out of the rear windows, they actually roll down. That is a cool option, having rear roll down windows in a van. You know, locks work and all that. Um, let's see, right window, mirror. Out, in, down, up, a little bit out where I want it. Out, down, up, over. All this stuff here. Super cool. Everything closing all on its own. Yes, sir. -y. It does all the work for you. These are really air aircraft looking lights. It's got your garage door opener thing. Got your mirror up here, light works and all that. Hey, there I was. Very clean. Backup camera. And all that. And they take a couple more pictures. AC blows ice cold. Um, this here is something else. It's like one, like that, and two like that to where it goes all the way back there. And then there's something else that works some way. I don't know. Cup holders. Oh, and you got cup holders up here. So there's all kinds of stuff like that. I'm gonna take a couple more pictures and we'll go for a test drive. Okay, that's that. I think I got all the pictures I need and we're gonna take off and do you a test drive right now. I did an exterior video and a test drive the other day. And I'll tell you what, the storm crowds are brewing. I hope I'm not getting too much rain or anything on the rest of my cars, but we're out of here. Very good running. Reliable, powerful little van with a lot of options. There's just so many options on this little car. Put my seatbelt on here because I'm just so safe, you know? That's just how I am. This guy's going off us. We got it. We always got it in this. There's plenty of power. And the braking is nice as can be. Limo. I got a limo for sale. You interested in a limo? I'll make you a deal. There's also an extra um, thing there. There's a little cubbies and 
charge points and all that kind of stuff all over the place. I don't know if you can see that down there. Carpets are in great shape. Muscle van. And I do get onto a bit in the videos. I want you to understand that this thing shifts like it should. It stops like it should. It upshifts and downshifts just like it should. Like you're sitting here doing this and you want to floor it. The downshift is right there. And that's nice. The tranny is tight. Um, the upshift, when it gets to the RPM it's supposed to, the sucker shifts. So, radio's nice, all that. Um, in fact, this is the one that had a Sirius XM. It still had the other guy's account in it. I'm sure that'll be gone by the time you get it and it'll be expired or whatever. But, it does work. 70 degrees? nice out. I'm telling you, it is tight. So, there's your test drive. If you're interested in this car, 406-546-8748. It's an eco. I see the eco thing there, and I think it does like the um, chargers and the 300s and all that do, where it like cuts down and runs on less cylinders when you're um, not needing the power. I'm always needing the power when I'm driving a minivan. Come on. How can you drive a minivan and not need bunches of power? Well, this has got it. Feel the shift. I mean, it's just, well, you don't feel the shift, but you see it shift, and you know it's shifting, and it's just doing. And, great runner. I'm, I'm just so impressed, because this difference of driving over a caravan or something, this is just amazing. Or a Voyager, the old Chrysler van, gutless, just me, you know, this thing is, it's ballsy. I don't know how many horsepower it has. I don't do the whole Wikipedia look it up and tell you all the stats. I just tell you, it's ballsy, very ballsy. Well, that's your video. Um, like I say, Nathan, 406-546-8748. New videos every day, make sure to subscribe. And if this one's gone in a few months here, I can get you anything you want. Easy, quick, cheap, save you huge amounts of money. Okay. And that is that. I'm gonna park it right here. I'm gonna tell you that I got Elantes and all kinds of stuff. I always got about 100 cars for sale. Um, like I say, website is one owner car guy. I'm just enamored by these clouds like ooh, it's so pretty it is it's nice out right now uh, BMW 7 Series and Lexus is all over the place and there's an SL back there and I showed you that in the other video heck we're done we're done one owner car guy one owner car guy.com if you're interested get a hold of me check out the pictures let's do this if you're looking for one of these vans stop it and just call me buy this one